So to copy a user in Active Directory, first thing we need to do is to put the user information into a variable. Uh, but before we do that, if I just use get AV user to look at this user, so I'm using the Anthony Howell user in this case, I'm looking at the title and department properties, you can see that these uh, have been set. And so if we take uh, the output of get AV user and using the properties parameter to also grab the title department, we can assign that to the user variable and then use that to copy that user and those settings as well into a new user using the new AD user commandlet. So here line 15, I'm creating a new user with the name Christopher Scholes and using the instance parameter to specify that user variable. So what this will do is to create a new user with that name and then all the other non-unique settings from that user variable. And so if we look at that user using get AD user again and look at those title and department properties, we can see that that user has the same properties that the Anthony Howell user had. So, but, and you can use that to copy a number of attributes, but not all of them copies. Let me give you an example here. So for instance, if I do a get AD user on the Anthony Howell user again, and I look at the member of and password last sent properties, you can see that this user is member of a couple of groups, the operations and IT, and had a password set. And so we could take that output and again, assign it to the user variable. And then if we create a new user using that same new AD user commandlet, and giving it a new name this time, so Arthur Cerberus, and using the instance parameter again, you can see here that we're, we're actually gonna get an error. The issue is that you can't actually use new AD user or set AD user to set the password last set variable. So I'll go ahead and comment that out. And then if I run line 23 again to recreate that user variable, and then I'm gonna use, try to use that new AD user again, same user as before, use that user variable, but this time it doesn't have the password last set attribute. So if I run that, it was successful. But if I use get AD user to look at that user specifying those member of and password last set properties, you can see that neither of them have value. And so you just got to be careful when you're copying users that you or that you're using attributes that do actually copy. But anyway, thanks for watching.